Hi everybody! My name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. If it is your new first time being here, thank you so much. Welcome aboard. You have stumbled upon a channel that loves to talk about yarn and knitting and crocheting and all the wonderful fun things that are involved with yarn, knitting, and crocheting. I mean, isn't that why we're here? Yarn is amazing. I've got my little ball of yarn and stuff and, you know, lots of things. I mean, it's what we do. Uh, I wouldn't go so far as to say yarn is life because that's a little weird, but it has woven its way through my life in just about every aspect. It really has. And it's just given me so much comfort to be able to play with and enjoy making and creating things with both knitting, crocheting, and I used to do weaving. I haven't done anything woven in a long time, but it's a use for yarn. And isn't that what we're all about? So if you're paying attention to the calendar, April 27th, yesterday, was Local Yarn Store Day. Did you go anywhere? Did you do anything for a Local Yarn Store Day? I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. Did you do anything for Local Yarn Store Day? Um, I was planning on it. Okay, I, I did, I did. I did get to go out and I did get to join up with a couple of my friends and we had a lot of fun. Was it as exactly as we planned? No, no, not at all, no. But we definitely enjoyed each other's company. We worked on projects that we had. We went around and about and we did not really leave our town very far. We tried. We did. So for those that aren't familiar, I live in Colorado. And you're like, well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, Colorado likes to have these sporadic little snowstorms and things for no particular reason at odd times of the year. Like... April 27th, woke up to a winter weather advisory. Yeah, no, no, I, I got up, the dog got me up at 5 a.m. to go out because, you know, he doesn't care if it's not the weekend. He doesn't care if it's a weekday. He's like, mama, I gotta go out, right? I'm like, Ugh. he's still slightly feral. We've had him for two years. He's still feral. My husband can't get him in at all. It's just me. So I'm the one who has to let him out and let him back in. Now, husband can let him out, but he can't get him back in. So I go downstairs to let him out and I'm looking at the windows and they're wet. Uh, okay. And it looks like the, it's kind of like stuck to the window. Like, you know, it had rained and frozen. Oh, well, okay. That's, you know, cold, but something was coming down. It was like slush balls. It wasn't hail, but it was just like globs of slush was just falling. Like, oh, that's, that's not good. So I looked up the weather, winter weather advisory. We're expecting snow and everything else. And, ugh, you know, we had a lot of rain. And a lot of slush. Slush was built up on the roads. So met with my friends. We we met up at 10 o'clock and said, okay, let's go grab some coffee. We'll go to the local yarn store that is in our town. I mean, if you're going to support local yarn store day and you're going to go to multiple places, you should probably go to your favorite one or at least your local one first and then kind of branch out. That, that was our plan. That was our goal. So we got to visit for a couple hours. We did, you know, until, you know, other people came in and it's like, all right, well, we'll vacate and let other people sit down and sit and knit and crochet and play for a little while. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. I did get some things there before we left because, um, you don't just go on local yarn store day and take up space. You gotta get something. Well, I mean, I might be... Uh, a little bit of a yarn connoisseur, right? Or, or you know, a yarn collector and enthusiast, right? You know, I, oh yeah, I'm loving the yarn. So I, I looked around at a bunch of this stuff and it's like, all right, well, we're planning on going to multiple places. So I don't want to spend all my money in one store. So let's go to the sale bin, right? I love the sale bin. I can't, I just, hey, if you can get the yarn you love and you can get it at a discount, there's no shame in that at all all right my mama taught me you go to the sale bin first and then you kind of spread out but that's just me right you go however you want to so i'm rummaging through the sale bin and for those that have been here for a while you know fingering weight yarn is just the one that sings to me it just does uh, i'm i'm trying to move out of well not really move out but i'm expanding my horizons and trying to work with larger yarns and uh really you know just like i said expanding my horizons so i'm looking through the sale bin and this purple 
scheme just pops. And I recognize it immediately because I already have four of them. Oh yeah, I I are already already in my in my own little stuff. Look at that. I already have four. I just you know I'm like, do I need another? I if you collect yarn, you know, you know it's one of those if you know, you know. So this right here is Hasco sock Aracunia. I think that's how you say the name. I'm not really sure. It is a fingering weight yarn, 75% superwash wool, 25% polyamide, 100 grams is 433 yards. And uh, where is it made? I have no idea right now. It's really tiny print and evidently that affects me. Okay, so this was in the sale bin and it wasn't just like a little sale. This stuff is normally $25. It really is. I have, like I said, I've got four of them and it was marked down to 13. I mean, uh, that's significant at a local yarn store. So, you know, I mean, it's really pretty. And my husband loves me in purple. I'm like, you know, I don't, do I need another one? I have four. I have enough to make a sweater for myself. That should, that's plenty. Um, he's so pretty. Yeah, maybe weak. Okay. And then the other one that, you know, I think the other thing too is they're going to be the closest to the same guy lot getting them at the same store. You either get them then or you just don't or don't worry about it or make something else. But she had another color. Oh yeah, I was having a blast. All right, color name. So this is the same specs. Uh, this, this color name is something that I can't pronounce. So that's helpful. Color uh, Vina Del Mar. No, is that really it? I don't know. So that's not helpful because I don't even know if that's actually the color name. Yeah, Vina Del Mar. Vina Del Mar. I have no idea. It's no clue. And then this one is Amazonia's. Yeah, look at that. It's so pretty. So now, you know, I just, yeah, I just had to. And I thought, you know, this is the thing that I normally go for, obviously, is the sock yarn. And, and it doesn't sound like I'm trying to branch out. It's like, no, no, go look around the aisles. Go look around, you know, the other stuff. Get out of the sail bin. Oh, yeah, I totally excavated the sail bin, you know, pulled everything out. I put it back. I didn't leave a mess. And I was seeing, you know, what things really called to me. It's like, all right, walk away. It's okay. Local yarn tray. Go grab something out of my wheel well, a little bit different, you know. Um, yeah, try something out. So I'm looking around everything. I'm in the cotton section. I don't normally get a lot of cottons. I I, I can, but I don't. And the one that caught my eye was this Coastal Cotton. I've not used it yet. Queensland's Coastal Cotton. But look at that. All right, I got grandkids. I mean, is that not a coloring book box of crayons right there? You know, Crayola crayons in every color. Like, oh. All right. This is Coastal Cotton Coral Reef. Pure, soft cotton. 100 grams, 185 yards, again, 100% cotton. Uh, number four, uh, worsted weight yarn, use a seven to a nine knitting needle or an I to a K crochet hook. Okay, and it's got the Ocotec standard, which means it's been tested for a bunch of different chemicals to supposedly not react on your skin and cause allergies. I don't know, but that's what, that's the claim. So this is the Mandarin Dragon Fruit. All right, well, I thought it was pretty. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm outside of my comfort zone. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is this is this a kitchen cotton? Did I just buy a kitchen cotton? Uh, you know, it's funny. I brought it home and I showed my husband, like, what do you think? And he touches it. Oh, I don't like it. I said, well, it's a cotton. It's like, yeah, I know. I don't like it. It's scratchy. <laughs> it's not scratchy. But is it this? No. No, it's not. Not at all. And he's like... I, I no. I'm like, but I, I was getting it to make something for the grandkids. I think this would wash well, wear well, whole nine yards, right? You know, I thought that would be fun and bright. And then, so I got two of them. Oh yeah, I got two of those. And then the blue. I, I had a choice between, well, I had lots of choices. There were lots of colors. The red, I thought the red was really pretty or the blue. And I'm like, all right, everyone help me. What? I don't need all of them. Help me out. They're like, what are you making? I'm like, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> do you go to the yarn store with a project in mind? Maybe. 
I don't know. And they're like, well, who are you making it for, boy or girl? I'm like, I got both. You know, I got five grandkids. I got boys and girls. I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm so helpful. I'm so, I was helping them help me, you know? Uh, so obviously we ended up picking the blue and I think it's really pretty. And have you used this? Um, what did you make with it? Did you just go with washcloths and stuff like that? Or did you make a garment? Because again, the goal on this, I was thinking a, um, like a little cardigan for one of the grandkids because I got five of them and I think this should be plenty because you know the youngest grandchild is not two years old and the oldest eight so you know I can make it in the size range that'll fit one of them and this should be way more than enough yarn to do so especially being a worst of weight yarn and I thought with the primary colors like that and the blue boy or girl so whomever that's fine um but then when my husband had commented on that and was like I don't like it. Well, you know, he's nothing but honest. I mean, if he doesn't like something, he doesn't like something. The man knows his way around a yarn store and he will find the high end stuff. He's not allowed to go with me. He's, I love him. He is not allowed to go with me. He, um, he, uh, he, he's, he spoils me a lot. So I'm like, no, no, I can, I can go get some stuff. We don't, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's fine. Unless I wanted to go ahead and start something with it immediately, whether it's a knit pro project or a crochet project, you know, I don't always need the, the high end stuff. I do have another one of the, I'm pretty sure in my cotton, see my cotton bin. Do I have another one? Oh, I do. So I do have, so now, okay. Now I'm confused. Is there something different in this one? So this, is it not the same stuff? It is. Okay, this says Queensland Coastal Cotton, right? That's Coral Reef. This is pure, it says it's a pure soft cotton. This one I already had in my stash. Now the label's a little bit different. It's Queensland Collection Coastal Cotton, pure soft cotton, 100% cotton, same yardage, same specs. This pink, so much softer than this or the blue. You know, have you noticed that on some of the things with dyes, the dyes make a difference. So when it's washed, washed out, you know, the first time it's washed, they will soften up. It will make a difference. Red Heart's really an interesting one like that. And some of the other acrylics, um, hey, love them or hate them. I mean, yarn is yarn and you can do lots with any of it. You really can. So, uh, it, the, the the specific dyes do make a difference. They really do. Some yarns, I know I've watched Amanda from Tap Mama and the Beg Brigade. She talked about like the scarfy yarns. She really likes some of them, but you have to be there to touch them and feel them in person because some of the colors were amazing to feel and others were, mm -mm, no, no, uh-uh. Um, these two, huge difference in feel. So maybe this will just soften up like this. And this is, this is like the label says, pure soft cotton. It's amazing. Let me slip those labels off for that matter. Let's see if we can see a physical difference. What do you think? Can we, can we tell really much of a difference on those? Not really. Um, this was the older put up. So it looks like it's a little bit longer of a skein. I'm sure they're actually the same weight like it says. Let me grab my scale down here. They're supposed to be 100 grams. Oh, have you ever done that? Have you got new yarn and weighed it just to see? Because there's deviations by a gram or two, one way or the other. Sometimes you win the, the yarn skein lottery, and sometimes not so much. So the pink one, which I already had in my stash, no label, so we're not weighing that. Um, okay, so that's 101 grams. So a little bit of a bonus, right? Extra couple yards or something like that. The blue, all right. Whoop, it's trying to roll away. The blue is 100 exactly. How cool is that? So perfect. Uh, I have gotten some things that were uh, deviation of up to 10%. It was crazy. Some of the universal yarns that I've purchased in the past, you know, because I knew that I, I would hold them and everything and I would get the things that felt heavier to me when I was in the yarn store. And then I weighed them when I got home. I did good. Um, yeah. Okay. So this one's a 100 exactly also. All right. So that was fun. Um, it, it is kind of an interesting, fun thing to do. Uh, a little disheartening every once in a while when you get one that's, you know, a good good chunk smaller in weight than what you had expected. It happens. But they are allowed to have so much of a deviance. So pro tip, 
if you're working on projects and things along that line and you have to have a specific amount of yarn and you know that your project's going to use the full skein, weigh it. Save yourself some heartache. Weigh it. Make sure you're going to have what you think you're going to have. So, oh, that was just the first store. So we finished going to that. That's everything alpaca. That's my local yarn store here in Colorado. So we finished going there and that's like, all right, where are we going next? You know, it, now it's noon. Uh, we went and we had a, a nice lunch and sat and relaxed. And, you know, while we're waiting for things, I'm knitting on my car project. Yeah. Got to take something like that with you. You always have to have your project with you. So I was knitting my car project and when we, it's like, okay, you know, I, I think it's maybe warming up, you know, we're, we're close to the highway. You could see the um, highway. It looked like traffic was moving well. I pulled up the CDOT, Colorado Department of Transportation app, and it'll tell, it'll show you what the traffic's like, if there's any accidents or anything. It's like, all right, I think we're doing good. We don't have, you know, a bunch of people crashing accidents and everything from here to where we're going. And the next place we were planning on going to is about an hour drive, 45 minutes without the weather. So it's going to be at least an hour. So I'm in the back of the vehicle. I'm passenger, right? I'm in the back. I don't get to see everything that's going on. That's okay. I got my car project and I am happier than a pig in Yes. So I, it doesn't matter. You know, I, I brought a huge coffee cup with me. We stopped at Starbucks. So then I had a cold coffee and my hot coffee. So I had both things as far as that. We had just eaten. Tummy was full. I'm working on my project, you know, which has not been getting a lot of love because I've not been passenger, right? Uh, you know, it's the car project. That's how that goes. So we're driving and there's a lot of standing water and slush. I mean, piles of slush on the highway between the lanes. We're not talking snow. This is just that heavy slush. And uh, we started hydroplaning just a little bit, just, just a little bit. But I'm in the back seat and I'm ignoring the fact that we're um, maybe not having that 100% control situation. And uh, we decided, you know, maybe... Maybe we don't need to go to the, that particular yarn store that's, you know, that far away. So uh, got off at the next exit. Not a big deal. Nobody was harmed in this endeavor. Yeah, not a big deal. So we, we get off. And it's like, all right, well, we'll go to another one that's significantly closer. Um, all right. So we're, we're starting like, mm, no, uh -uh. being on the highway was horrible. We took back roads back roads were the best route to go. Surprising. I know it was so surprising. And I think it's because the uh, the drivers on the back roads were not being aggressive. Um, whereas on the main roads, for whatever reason, they were being a little, a little too crazy to be out there in that particular weather. So we ended up just with the one yarn store, uh, went to another coffee shop that I had not been to before. It was wonderful. It was a, a relaxing place. They had, um, uh, when you know those big huge jars normally like a pickle jar or something like that big huge jar and it had these balls of something in it you know it's like oh what are those and it's like oh like energy bites you know these big balls of, they're like no bake cookies if you're old enough to remember no bake cookies is what they were just rolled in a ball shape so you had the peanut butter and the chocolate chips and the oats and yes yes please could i have that this i would i would like that yes i would i would like that they were wonderful i may have bought a few more before we left Yes. Yes, I did. Yes. They were really good. So it was enjoyable to close down a coffee shop and then finally get home. I was supposed to do other shopping and, and what have you. Yeah, that didn't happen. No. Uh -uh. I'm like, okay, this was a full day. This is a lot of fun. And we didn't really make it out of our town very far. We, we attempted. We 100% we attempted. You know, the other yarn stores will just have to wait for another day. We um, we went out and in full um, enjoyment and spirit of local yarn store day, we were able to at least go in and enjoy the uh, the one that's closest to us. And they're normally closed uh, today, but they're open. So if I wanted to go get some more, if there was something that was like still calling to me, because you know that happens. It does. I could definitely go back and, you know, because of the local yarn store day, she had different sales and things like that. And that was, that was enjoyable. I mean, eat everything, even if it, if it wasn't discounted already, it was at least 10% off. So, you know, an extra bonus, um, especially 
today uh, when I got back to my car because we carpooled we met at one person's house and we carpooled when I got back to my car I had to scrape everything off the the snow was just so thick on my front windshield and just so heavy it was just slush and the windshield wipers weren't going to handle it or anything I'm out there pulling the frozen slush off it was a wonderful day. Welcome to springtime in the Rockies. Uh, it, this is definitely not the latest snow I've seen. Um, I've been here multiple Mother's Day for some reason. It really likes to have snowstorms on Mother's Day. Also, uh, you know, what are you going to do? It's just a day to go buy more yarn. And it's funny, the, the yarn store owner had commented that on days like today, where um, most smart people stay home, those are really busy days for her. If she's open, there's a lot of us uh, not well-balanced individuals who feel like with the weather being the way that it is, we, we need to go get at least another sweater quantity worth of yarn or, or two. You know, that's, that's how that works. Uh, so, um, yeah, she shows up and um, we do too. Yes, yes, we, we do too. It's, it's how that goes. So let me know if you did anything for local yarn store day. If you didn't have... A yarn store that's close enough for you to go to did you order anything online did you do anything like that or do you just not play at all and that's fine too there's there's no big deal um i particularly like today because it's another excuse it's a it's a specific day holiday excuse to go out and play and just be with friends be with like-minded people enjoy each other's company telling stories and having fun and you know, that is exactly what I did today. It was an absolute blast. I look forward to these little excursions and getting out and the color choices that each one of us picks and the yarn that calls to us on each individual day. It is, it is a lot of fun just to see those differences. And uh, sometimes my husband will put constraints on me not in a bad way. It's not not like that. Like what he did when I was working or when I went to get yarn for my Malabrigo shawl, my friendship shawl. He said, you needed three colors, right? Just three colors of yarn. Pick three colors, complimentary. There you go. And his, his only caveat, he's like, get what you want, honey. Whatever you want, that's fine. He doesn't care. He is such an enabler. Oh my God, he is such an enabler. He's like, get whatever you want, but don't get those colors. Do you know what colors he meant? Oh, I don't know. The mustard color the copper color, the autumn colors, the colors that I gravitate towards like every single time, right? So it, it is funny when he'll send me away to go and do things like that. And it'll be interesting to see what I come back with. Um, because we, we gravitate towards colors. There's, there are things that will just get us, right? You know, just every single time. And I'm no different as far as that goes. But I still managed to get in my mustard. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. So having fun. And the other thing too, and I'm looking forward to uh, the yarn crawl is already being talked about. Oh, this year in Colorado, our yarn crawl is in August. Um, I don't remember the exact dates. It's right around my birthday. I do know that. So it's right around my birthday, middle August. Um, but, uh, you know, for that one right there, that is another thing. And that goes on for a week. And um, we'll go out with friends and we'll carpool and we'll do the whole thing as far as that goes and it's just such a a destination fun um you know girls night out without being like a let's go to the bar and drink you know what I'm getting at right you know just a something along that line it's like let's go have fun let's go do that you know I don't want to be out late I don't I don't want to be out late I don't want to be drinking in public I don't want any of that stuff so I mean this is just fantastic so it was fun to know that they're planning it I don't know what they're planning but they're already in the works. It's gone. It's happening. It's on. Uh, and that's, that'll be something that'll be really fun. And it's just really it, more so having the local yarn store day is just kind of like a taste, right? You know, cause you're getting, you're, you're getting prepped. You're already with your friends. You're doing things, you're getting yarn. And then, um, you're contemplating, what are you going to make? What am I going to do? I, I want to do something with this. Um, more so now, cause my husband said, ew, you know, I'll touch, I'll have him touch this one because it's the same yarn 
and see what he thinks of this. And I think once this is washed, it'll be fine. But uh, you know, it's fine now too. But you know, he's funny. But you know, we'll we'll go along that line and try to come back together and go. Okay, did you use any of your stuff or did you collect it? I'm guilty of collecting. I also use stuff. I mean, you know. Um, the jewelry I like is costume jewelry. It's inexpensive, so it's not like I'm spending lots of money on, I must have diamonds and I must have rubies and, you know, name all the jewels. No, no, I don't. You know, my thing that I like to spend my money on or collect is yarn. There you go. It's yarn. And and it's wonderful because it's so noise dampening in here. It's, it's um, you walk in and out of this room and you can feel the quiet. You can feel the peace. So um, all I'm doing is lining my walls. It's People joke about yarn being insulation. I'm not joking. I'm in this room. It's not a joke. It's amazing. So I'm just investing in insulation, and it's beautiful. So there you go. That's what I like to do. With that, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go because I can talk all night on yarn. There's no doubt. I can I can be like till tomorrow morning. My voice is gone. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye bye.